Jeff, I'm Mickey Mouse. You're Mickey Mouse. Ha ha! Whoa. You like that? Ah. Is that more of a... Oop. Is that more of a Charles Martin named Mario? Oh! Yeah, I don't know. It's hey. a me! A Mickey Mouse! Something like that. Hey! Uh, it's Mickey Mouse, and this is a castle. Okay, we'll great. See where I'm going with this? Uh, it's Super Mario 64, yep. but with a mouse? That's, yep, that's exactly what they've made. This is Mickey Mouse you know, 64. This, I'm gonna say this this castle does kind of look like... Oh, totally, yeah. The Mario 64 of castle. Of course, that's the first thing you think when you walk in here. Uh, paintings, huh? Oh, weird. Uh, yeah. Uh, those are not paintings you jump into, though. Oh, okay, those all right. paintings you unlock. Totally different. As you play this mostly 2D side-scroller. All right. Which is a remake of the old Castle of Illusion for the Genesis. Remember that guy? Yes. It's the first, first boss. Yeah. Them. Uh, that that Genesis game is fantastic. It is. It is a a love a lovely game. This this is making me want to go back and play it. Yeah. Uh, because it's been a long time. Game came out way over twenty years ago. Gosh. Nineteen. Well, if the copyright on this on the title screen is to be believed, it came out in nineteen ninety. That's uh, that's probably about right. That's the first set of levels. I already finished those. Well, you know, I mean. It's, Let's, anyway. go up, let's go up to where I'm at, and then maybe I'll, I'll pop back into level one, because that's the one that I remember. Okay. But let's see where I can get to. Uh, so, you know, you, you finish the sets of three levels, and you have to get the diamond. I don't remember if you any of this stuff... Of diamonds. Was there anything like a hub? No, 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 no. It was just a side-scrolling game, yeah. level to level. Like you, you just went... went was, yeah. and, okay, from one level to the next. All right. So I'm on the last level of the toy world. Remember that one? Yeah. Um, this game's all right. Into a it's new not... Corner of oh yeah, it's got an area. Oh, Mickey. weird. But what was that odd green box? Also it got a little bit of a pandemonium thing going on at yeah. times, like kind of 2D, 3D, kind of rotating the environment as you go. Yeah. But uh, you're just pushing to the right. You don't have to. Uh, yeah, but I was gonna say it's mostly 2D because occasionally you get some of this. Yeah. The Jack in uh, the box. Interesting. Of course. Yeah. So they've uh, they put some effort into some of this stuff. There are these these kind of 3D interludes in. Is this just straight into the boss? Is there no level? Act three is boss fight. Is Act three always just the boss fight? Mm, maybe. Also, probably. Oh, oh that's, that's low. Screw that up, crude. You need to hit that guy. Like, how, like what do I hit him with? Uh, I don't. That. Like, I can't. Aha! Oh, yeah, there you go. Well, now hit I got your butt. Now I got one heart left. Oh, it'll be fine. Oh, yep. Wait, yep. no, it won't. Totally worked out. Into a new corner of the Castle of Illusion ran Mickey. But what was that odd That guy sounds like a really Disney ass narrator. Chillingly familiar. Yeah. Um I I would say You probably have to get close enough to the yeah, sure. box, Just about every level. Maybe not quite all of them have had something in 3D so far. Really? So they've added but some primarily, stuff. But primarily But it's mostly a 2D platform. Well they've added some stuff. I mean it's like these levels aren't even necessarily identical to the it's more thematic similarities, uh, right? Kind of. Well, a lot of it is pretty Specific. Like, I'll, I'll show you level one because the whole thing is like a. Oh, crap. Yeah, look out for that. That's... I was trying to run in and out. Oh, they don't it goes make 2D it, here? They don't make it clear that this is only 2D. Oh, that's interesting. That's, yeah. well, that's strange. That was a little bit jarring. I was like, I'm trying to just run into the background. Why that. is that not working? Jump over that. Yeah. Uh, Jump over that. Doing it. Jump over that. Wait, what do I do? What do I do? Get... Jump over that. Man. Oh, God, it happened again. Wait. We well, still took damage. Yeah, I landed on the spur. Like, where was I supposed to go? Do you have to like butt attack to fit the the glove? Maybe. Oh man. Look out for that. I'm trying. Little Bowser. Little Mario 64 Bowser. Uh, Grab him by the tail. Throw him off. I don't think I can do that. Throw him into the bombs. Is he gonna be dizzy? Oh god. Okay, this is getting real bad because. Fuck it. You, you needed to jump. I there. tried. I hit the jump button. The the jumping is laggy as shit in this game. It's hmm. my least favorite thing about this game. Yeah, that's like it, for it a just, platformer. That sounds like the worst thing you can kind uh, of say. The movement, the movement and the jumping are both not nearly as responsive as, as I would want them to be. Hmm. It's just it, it. It's not that fun to control this game. Yeah, it doesn't feel right. That's uh, that's very it unfortunate. Leads you, it leads to you missing a lot of jumps that you feel like you should have hit because it just there's like. You just wind up on the jump. Yeah. And it sucks. Also, let's hope this entire quick look is not me fighting this boss. I'm still, I don't know how to, I don't know how to avoid this thing though, because of landing on the Jump. spring. Okay, so like I'm all the way over there. Get him. I basically, I hit the jump button right before the glove even appeared, if that tells you anything. Like yeah. 
That's how long it takes you to get off the ground. Yeah. This is the Xbox version? Yeah. Um, I wonder if it's better on PC. I don't know. Thought about trying the PC version, but did not sleep and get it that time. Fuck. Oh. I don't remember if that original game was all that hard or not. Was it? Uh, no, not really. Uh, whoa. Well, thinking about the timing of this so much that I'm guaranteed to miss it. Yep. God damn it. All right. Into a new I don't know. What do you want me to do? Jump out here and I'll random. show some of the actual game. It says it's a boss fight. I don't even care if you beat this or not. All right. Well, unfortunately, that's as far as I've gotten. We'll run into so one of the other doors. I mean, you can replay old levels, right? Yeah, you can. Yeah. I just want to see what the next world is. Here, let me show you level one. Okay. How about that? Uh, you can see there's all these collectibles up there. I don't remember how much of that is from the original game. Not much. I, the original game had, like, well, I guess this Nothing. is a score, too, but I was yeah. going to say, the original game was, like, just finish it, man. Yeah. There's, there's like, playing cards and little trophies. Mm-hmm. Uh, the diamonds, the diamonds. You, you need a minimum number of diamonds, like you saw, to get into the subsequent worlds. Yeah. But you also have to finish the entire previous world. Hidden so chili almost, peppers. Yes, there's also those. I haven't seen any of that stuff yet. Well, they're hidden. That would explain it. Uh, I guess you you unlock like a time trial, basically. Oh. Uh, after you finish a level, like when you were saying, like this is not an exact copy right. of the original game. Like, listen to that music. Yeah, no, I mean, uh, I mean, like they're a definitely lot of this like, stuff you know, is exactly the same. It's sort of like a reboot remake. Yeah, like I'm not, but it's not. I'm not at not, all. That dude in the background. I'm not at all knocking it for that. I'm just saying, you know, there are parts of this that feel like a carbon copy, you know. But then you get, like I said, you get into those other weird little interludes, and, it, and it's kind yeah, of, it's kind of some neat new variety in there. Kind of makes me want to go back and play that game. Yeah. Is it in here? No. Well, not that I know of. So there's stuff like this. Like, they'll... Oh. And strangely, they've taken the narration out of this time trial version. Oh, I see. Okay. He's it's removing. Yeah, you just yeah. have to follow all the paths what, until... What are you doing? Until there's only one. Hey, remember this? Falling, the falling leaves. Cool. It's so effing long. I'm, it's like it's weird that you can even remember things like this, like the music specifically. Like I remember the feeling of jumping from leaf to leaf. Yeah. Whoa. I'm trying to remember. Whoa, God! I'm trying to remember what it was that was so great about that game. I mean, it was just. Well, level design it and art felt good. It and looked stuff, great. Right? Yeah, it was, uh, really cool. Like, like I have never really liked Mickey Mouse as a character. Yeah, I'm, yeah per I'm se, a, you know, it's just same. never really been a big same. deal. Same. Um, but it was just it was just a fantastic game. You know? It was a great Genesis game. Uh, and they did the it was a, it was Castle Illusion then World of Illusion, right? Was that on the Genesis? I think so. Yep. Yeah. Drew says yeah. Drew says oh, yeah. I think I ever played that other one. Yeah. I remember it being all right, but ah. I, but I also remember not oh. liking it as much as Castle. It's a two-player. That was fun. Hmm. Oh right, yeah, that was a two-player one. Yeah. Uh, I moved on from that Genesis game to Magic Quest on the Super NES. I don't know that I ever. I think uh, that game uh, rules. Yeah. Yeah. I, that it didn't. It didn't seem to get a lot of play. Like people, for some reason, never paid a lot of attention to it, as far as I could tell. Uh, well, but, Disney stuff on the Genesis is better than Disney stuff on the SNES. That, well, never typically that is that is a good rule of thumb. So um, true for Aladdin, true for. But uh, I'll look out for that. That game had all these suits you could get, like fireman suit, mm, and, like a, right. I all remember stuff, that. Yeah. Like you could, like. Shoot. I don't know that I ever played it, but I yeah, it's awesome. I might that. I might try to dig that game out for a professional Friday or something. I am almost guaranteed to miss the jump at the end of this. Great. Yeah, I, I kind of feel like. Uh, you know, with what you're saying about the jumping, the, the rest of this game is... The whole thing is kind of, kind of rendered ineffective, yep, yeah. Yep, if it doesn't... Uh, okay. Hey, all, all right. right. I failed that enough times before that I got it that time. But yeah, it just... 
It doesn't feel as good as it should. Mm. That is unfortunate. All right, what other yep. worlds do you have unlocked? It's just this one in the, the toy world. We'll go yeah, do like, so. uh, like level one or two. Yeah, in the I'll, toy go, world we'll or go or hop into the toy world, I guess. Uh, these, you know, that's the boss of. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. So they're they're basically added to the castle as you uh, as you beat them. Yep. Uh, you can do a little bit of exploring in the castle. There's a few items to pick up, but most everything is kind of blocked off right now. Yeah. Let's see what's up with this? Okay. All right, that's a painting. That's definitely a painting. Jump into it. Oh, wait, what was over here? Jump into the painting. Well, right here. It's not a painting. Oh man. This is a much bigger castle than I thought it was. Yeah, there's there's some, some roominess to it. You can see there's a third level in there. Yeah. Oh, they're not going to give me the narration again. To extend the Rainbow Bridge, you need all seven of the Rainbow Gems. That's how it works. And then you can turn into Super Mickey Mouse. Yep. All right, toy time. Sure would love to see what's after this. Well, you'll just have to get better at that boss fight, Doc. All right. I wonder if I could get enough health out of this one to go into that that one with five. As I say, you had five right now. Yeah. You know, maybe. You or maybe. Or maybe they just limit you on. Uh, I'm not even going to start the time trial. Was whatever. You have a limited number of projectiles. Yeah, which right? is kind of weird, it's but it's... Oh, what are you even throwing? I thought you were throwing they're, apples. Yeah, they're apples in the first game. world. I think they are Oh, it changes marbles. world to world? Oh. Yeah, they're like marbles here. That's interesting. Yeah. I think they were always apples. Really? Before. Oh. I think. It was, just, it was a time when, like, so much of Sega's stuff was so on hit. Yeah. That, you know, you kind of didn't matter what it was. Yeah, you sure. Know, you're like, this totally. is probably going to be something I'm going to be interested in playing. Yep. Did they, they develop this? I believe, like yeah, in, in I Japan? So. I guess? Uh, you know, I, I don't know. Hmm. That is a good question. They throw all these little kind of sub stages at you. Hmm. You're always going in a hat or, you know, right. jumping down something like a well or something and that kind of, getting yeah. into. I don't remember if any of that stuff was in there. For any right. any of this stage flipping business, you gave those guys the business. Yep. Oh, let's see. I need to jump onto the top one because those things don't. Oh no! Yep, there yeah. we go. Yeah. So those things don't rotate with the level. I remember there being flippy stuff. Through. Yeah. Through. Seems to. Yeah. Okay. So this one, I don't want to jump into the top one. Hmm. For the record, I I seem to remember the jump in the original being kind of slow too hmm. yeah not unresponsive but just slow i remember yeah like, it was definitely like a looking at the spring on the boss and having to time it based on how far the string had compressed uh yeah yeah drew's definitely right like the the jump in the original it was it was never like a super tight yeah mario type platform. I, I guess you're right well, there's a difference between having like a, a slow jump speed and, and a little bit of wind up and or, or, or just and having it feel unresponsive. Yeah. All right. I like to think so. What's in that bag that you could go back and get? Marbles. Oh. Blazed through this level. Should have started that time trial. I, I guess. Yep. This is kind of cool. Uh, if just a, a tad bit mind bending. Should I go for it? Oh, okay. I see. All right. I was. <laughs> Again, I had not looked up at the mirror. So right. I'm like, wait. Oh, okay. I already got that gem. I'm not going for it. Yeah. Screw that. Yeah, it's cool. You know that they stuck some stuff like that in there. Yeah. Even if uh, I'm not. 
thrilled with the way it plays. I, I like seeing the effort they put in there. Fuck. Okay. Just the, the music kind of always changing and stuff, little dynamic bits. As yeah. You... Yep. That's uh, that, that that stuff's all cool too. Yeah. It's got like some... presentationally, this is pretty awesome. Yeah, totally. Well, that's as far as I've gotten. Well, what let's say uh, we let's take one more, one more time. Take one more crack. That'll be funny. Okay, four hearts, well, four stars. Four. That's, that's something. I don't even remember what World 3 is, so... I don't either. I just want to see it. Is it candy? Drew says candy. I don't know. Mm. Candy sounds awfully similar to toys. Yeah. But maybe you're right. I don't remember much at all past toys, to be honest. I remember walking this across Jello. It's one of those yeah. games that I. Oh. God damn it. Mm. It's one of those games that I never owned, but I played a lot of, and I'm not sure why. Like, I don't know. Where or how. Yeah, or, yeah. I rented it, or a friend had it, or something. I don't know. A lot of games from the 16 bit era fall into that category for me. Kind of the heyday of renting. Yeah. From what I remember. God. Oh. Got to jump over that. I'm trying. The problem is if you wait until it's out, it's too late. Uh huh. Stinky. You need to time it. I'm trying. Fucking shit. Wow, oh, that's, dude, that's, really? That's, now jump? you really have to. Shit. You really have to dodge that. Fucking hell, dude. Stuff. Into a new corner of the Castle of Illusion ran Mickey. But what was well, it starts with four. Okay, so it just starts with whatever you come in with. Yeah, that's something. I don't feel like their current Mickey Mouse voice is quite doing it for me. Uh, I, I feel like Mickey Mouse voice has always been a little... Dumb. Yeah, I don't know, I don't know how dumb is nope. harsh, but... Basically having to get in my head and second guess that thing, because uh -huh. it's... Jesus oh, well, Christ, that's... man. I pressed the jump button, in case you're wondering. Uh, it used to be Walt Disney. Oh, here we are. That's fine. Really? Yep. I didn't know that. Originally. You got this. You have faith. God, dude, I... I lied. Can I give it a shot? I sure. Right. Uh, just hang out here and jump for a little bit. But what was that odd green box? It seems yeah, you're right. This is yeah. nuts. It feels like shit, right? This is yeah. That's that's not good. So what is it? A jump, B shoot, uh, shoot. Or, yeah, I don't even know if you can. Okay, I don't yeah, have you any, have I don't any marbles. So yeah. just jump. Yep, that's all I got. That's it. There's no butt stomp button. It's just nope. land on them. Nope. Yep. Okay. All right. Uh, you have to hold jump when you land on the jump pad to get the full bounce. Got it. That's it. The Jack in the Box, of course. Oh no! And now I'm in trouble. All right. All right. Yeah, jump does not feel good. Yep. It's poop. Yeah, maybe you're right. Maybe it plays better on the PC, but I mean, it runs fine here. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. Not like this That'd is be like, weird. It's not like this is dropping a lot of frames or anything. And you're right. This, if you hit it as soon as you see a movement, you will get hit. Yep. You were not lying. No. At this point, I don't even care if you show me up. I just want to see what's after this. Although, if you don't beat this either, I say, oh, we're, do I say we're done with this. 
Oh. Oh no! Oh my god. Alright, well, you know, maybe we should just... <laughs> <laughs> Cease playing this. Yeah. Unless you want to try it again. No, I'm all right. Yeah, this 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 jump is real uh, is is disappointing. It's a bummer, it's, right? Uh, I mean, yeah. Again, like it's just it's just unresponsive. Yeah, totally. Like I'm letting off the button. Yeah. Before he even starts to jump. Yep. And you know, I don't. There's no. I don't. I can't think of any reason other than. Listen like, to that, folks at home. Yeah. It's no good. Gross. Gross. Some of the collision uh, on like platforms in some levels, like those falling leaves, is also pretty spotty. Yeah. Where like you can't necessarily tell, like, or it looks like you should have landed on the edge of it, but you kind of fall through and just keep going, stuff like that. That's you know I, I kind of I'm kind of into his breakdancing though. Those. Yep. Wow. Wow. Yep. All right. Man, he's got a full-on blink going. There. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah, you know, everything else about this seems pretty pretty well-crafted, you know? It's a shame. I, don't, I can't think of any, any reason other than just basic design that they would make the movement that way. Yeah. Uh, I, I wish it played better, because the rest of it's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, for sure. But, oh well. Well, that's that, that's, I guess. Yeah, that's the Castle of Illusions out there now. It's like 15 bucks. Hmm. All and right. By like 15 bucks, I mean like 14.99. Oh. That's a deal, then. That's basically the same thing. Yeah. So, yeah. All right. Thanks, Brad.